You've probably heard the buzzwords floating around, fintech, neobank, digital banking. But what do they really mean? And more importantly, does Kanto fit into this new age banking world? Let's dive in. Picture this, you're a business owner, juggling invoices, payments, and a mountain of paperwork. Traditional banks seem stuck in the slow lane while your business is revving up. This is where the promise of neobanks shines. They claim to offer speed, simplicity, and a digital-first approach. But is Kanto one of them? Let's break down what a neobank actually is. At its core, a neobank is a digital-only bank that operates entirely online. No physical branches, no long queues, just you and your smartphone. They're built from the ground up to be user-friendly, with a focus on technology and customer experience. Think of them as the disruptors of the traditional banking world. So, does Kanto fit this mold? Let's examine. First, Kanto is undoubtedly digital-centric. You can open an account, manage finances, and make payments entirely online. Check. Secondly, it offers a range of features tailored to businesses. From invoicing to expense management, Kanto tries to streamline financial operations. Another check. But here's where things get interesting. While Kanto offers a digital-first experience, it also has physical elements. For instance, you can request a physical card for your business. This blurs the lines a bit. Is it fully digital, or does it offer a hybrid model? To complicate matters further, Kanto operates in multiple countries, each with its own banking regulations. This means the services offered can vary from one country to another. So, while Kanto might be considered a neobank in France, it could have different characteristics in Germany or Spain. So, can we definitively label Kanto as a neobank? It's a tricky question. It certainly has many characteristics of a neobank, but the physical elements and geographical variations make it a bit of a hybrid. Perhaps it's more accurate to say Kanto is a digital bank with neobank aspirations. It's bridging the gap between traditional banking and the digital revolution. Ultimately, whether Kanto is a neobank or not might be less important than what it offers your business. If it meets your needs for speed, convenience, and cost-effectiveness, that's what matters. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.